Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the Calamity mod. So in yesterday's episode, which once again was an amazing success thanks to you lot, was this cool floating island that I actually just died upon. I, oh, well, you can't really see it. There's, <laughs> there's too many little birds around here, but there is a little gravestone and we died here yesterday. So I thought we could start today by coming here and checking out the loot. So... It's a total surprise to me. I just kind of got up here to prep for today. So it is... Bam. Oh, you know what? I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that. I like I like that accessory. That's not a bad accessory at all, right? So there are a lot of harpies. What I was thinking was... If we die, we die. No, I'm only kidding. What I was thinking was, this would be a really great way to get some feathers. And I didn't realize how weak we are, but this is revenge mode. I thought, if we get some feathers, that'd be really swell. Oh. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, it's a breathing reed. Okay, it's nothing good. Right, but what I was thinking was, if we at least build that platform up there, then we have a place for harpies, so when we get aerolite later on, we can then make some pre-hard mode wings, which is kind of cool, right? And I died. <laughs> right, okay, I didn't expect it to kind of go down like that. Don't worry. Welcome to the episode, everyone. Welcome to episode three. Like I said, you guys made episode two... Stupidly successful again like top of the YouTube search page um, Once again just to reiterate like in the past 48 hours once again a thousand subscribers Stupidly crazy stupidly crazy. So today we are off to Explore a little bit more of the underground because I want to do this series like not as fast as possible in the sense of like I want to rush it But I also want to give you guys that like satisfying progression, right? And I don't think that's going to come until I start kicking some boss, right? Kicking some boss. <laughs> I'll leave the rest to you. Yeah, kicking some boss. Um, so what I thought I would do is, I thought I would kind of spend today being the last episode where we kind of get all our stuff together for that. Because I want to get it done as, uh, as fast as possible, as you guys are probably aware. But then I also want to make sure that we at least get enough stuff to not die straight away, if that makes sense. But then I also don't want to drag out the, uh, you know, the getting of stuff. Because I know a lot of people are kind of like, well, I like seeing you get stuff, but I also like seeing you beat bosses. So, I feel like that will keep the progression nice. Right. <laughs> I love how everything is so dangerous. And I love that that little green emerald guy has taken the spot in there. Um, alright, he's left. Alright, safe to go in. Okay, so this will be our last episode just exploring the bottom of the world. I'm pretty happy with that. Because I can do the rest kind of, not off camera, but in a way off camera. We can start working on some bosses. It was just that. I was thinking, because this is going to be intense, right? Revengeance mode? It's super, super intense. I was thinking, how long do we spend in the pre... Whoa, Balder. Right, how long do we spend in the pre-boss phase? Because once you're being a boss, everything gets super fast, right? It's calamity. Everything's insane. You get pretty hard- Whoa! Oh my god. You get pretty hard mode wings, you get like cool swords. You know, we're gonna do some new mana stuff. And we also got that shotgun yesterday, which turns into, uh, what was it called? Like, the star something? Something like that. I wanted to see if we could, uh, if we could make that today. We do need a flare gun though. Now this is gonna sound like complete gibberish if you didn't watch episode 2. So, once again, for all the new people, thank you all for subscribing yesterday. Honestly, like, I, like I've said this, I've said this two days in a row, but like, by subscribing you are joining the most amazing people in the world. Like, I woke up to even more comments than the first episode last night. Well, this morning, from last night. And, uh, like, I feel like, once again, I spent like a, a good chunk of the morning making sure I could say hello to, to all the new people and just say thank you and stuff. So, once again, thank you to everyone. Um... <laughs> <laughs> and if you didn't watch episode 2, I'm gonna sound like I'm speaking gibberish. Probably am. Who cares? Right, we got three life crystals. Oh my god. Do you know what? I don't know if I'll ever stop. Because I, I refer to them as life crystals, right? Because they are. And like, I'll read it. I'll get one and read it and go, oh, it's a life crystal. But if you ask me at any other time when I've not just read one, it's always a heart container. I feel like I'm forever ingrained as it's a heart container. And I think that's because... When I used to watch people play Terraria before I started recording it, they would always call it a heart container. And it really stuck with me. If you guys are wondering, by the way, I used to watch these YouTubers called Odyssey Games. 
They're really cool, but then they've all gone to uh, to university and uh, they don't really do YouTube anymore. But that's who I used to watch. I used to watch them. They used to post like hour long uh, PvP matches in Terraria. I used to think it was like the coolest thing ever. It was, <laughs> it was good times. Right into here. Okay. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I liked how that worked. I like how that uh, how that knocked the painting off. You know what? While I'm at it, let's talk about another YouTuber, right? So. I, uh, my, my two YouTubers I used to watch the most for Terraria that really got me really hooked was Euromir and Odyssey Games, right? And I, they were the most inspiring bloody people out there for making me want to make Terraria videos. And, like, one of the things I did was I got interviewed for Terraria Online, which is, like, the Terraria main forums, right? And I was like, this is my time to say thank you. And so in my little interview, I was like, Odyssey Games and Euromir. They, they spark the creativity. Right. <laughs> okay, this is perfect. This is perfect. Because look at this, right? So I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff. Whoa, no, 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 no. Thank God for the spark there. The spark saved us. Right. Flare gun, which is what we needed, right? The suspicious looking eye, so that means a boss. And then just... That's that's a double winner. A boss and the, uh, the little thing. I was literally going, all right, I need a flare gun. Python hates the flare guns. We're probably not going to get one. And we got a free anvil, which is really cool. So I'm happy with that. Nice. So that is two parts of what we need for the, uh, for the shotgun upgrade. I won't lie. I don't necessarily remember the third one, but that's okay. That's cool. And you know what? You guys were so on point yesterday because I... Uh, <laughs> Oh god, I, I did this I did this thing where I was like, oh, it, there's a... We were looking at stuff for the shotgun. There was a weapon that we saw for the shotgun later on in the episode, but when we got the shotgun at the start, like, at one point, everyone was leaving me comments like, right, you need to know this weapon. So it was kind of cool, because we spoke about it later in the episode, but everyone was straight on it, straight away, to tell me, to, like, keep me informed. Is this not the biggest amethyst deposit you've ever done seen? Because it's a lot. I did manage to, I did, yeah, okay, I was going to say, I did grab that anvil, right? Here's me nattering on. Right, I'm going to put some blocks here. It's just because I want to, I want to be able to mine these knights, because these are going to be, presumably, my first hook, right? Because I imagine there's 15 here. So what is this? That's just a bunch of amethyst, and then, is that sapphire or diamond? That's got to be sapphire, right? Is it sapphire? Yeah, okay, that's sapphire. <laughs> I, I, I always get excited when I see gems just because we've done that, uh, we did the wizards playthrough and getting gems was like the coolest thing because then you get to upgrade. Right, I'm going to get rid of the sunflowers. I'm sorry, Picasso? Questionable mark? I don't know. Ah, oh, my mouse isn't working. Oh yeah, it's that smart thing. There's a little bug with that. That's okay, they'll fix it. Okay. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, that worked out pretty well. Alright, let's see. So how many amethyst did we get? We got 19. So that is enough for a hook. So we are hook worthy now. So I'm going to put down my anvil. And I'm going to make a hook. And I know my my uh, inventory is really, really unorganized at the minute. But it will get organized soon. As you guys may or may not know. Because you may be new. Hello the new people. Hello the old. <laughs> um, we do, well, I do this thing where I kind of keep everything a little bit unorganized. But then I always go for like a really dedicated chest system eventually. Like I always pride myself on at least organizing everything at some point. So that's probably, that's usually what you're, uh, what a lot of you are noting. You're like, hey, you're, you're kind of unorganized, James. And I'm like, yeah, well, I kind of am. I am in real life. <laughs> but then it becomes a point where I get super organized and then it's organized for life. Like the other day. So I have my office, right, which is where, like, I do all my videos and stuff. I haven't got to show you the new office yet, but I actually spent two hours the other day, like, two hours organizing every single cable so it had a place and, like, a position. And uh, and that was kind of like that. Like, I, it was all super unorganized when I moved in for, like, <laughs> six weeks. And then now it's organized for life because now it doesn't get shifted around. Okay, so I think exploring is going well. Right, so we're not we're not that far into the episode. We're about ten minutes, and I feel like our time has been really productively spent. Like it has been, it really has been. Okay, and I also think that with with the uh, with the upgrade we just had, so we've got a hook now. We have, you know, this clown in a bottle. I really feel like we could probably do something with the uh, expert Eye of Cthulhu. 
Although, I'm just thinking about this now, it is a different AI, so it's not the AI we're used to in expert mode. So that could make it harder or easier. <laughs> Probably harder though. Probably harder. Have I got any bombs on me? I don't. Oh no, I've got 26. Right, let's get rid of some stuff that I know I'm not going to use. Once again, I'm sorry for keeping this unorganized. This isn't a crafting, by the way. It's not a great weapon. Somebody also said that it was a uh, uh, a pickaxe. And I was like, man, man, that would make a really good pickaxe. It's not a pickaxe, unfortunately. But it would make a great pickaxe. Okay, so that's our gel gone. Okay. Maybe the mandible bow would, would do it. Do you know for... Uh, for, uh, for, for doing the uh, Eater of uh, <laughs> the Eye of Cthulhu. It might work. It might work. Alright, let's see what we can pop here. So this is going to be a musket, right? This is like musket always, isn't it? But it also means we can get... Because we'll have a little bit of time in between uh, the episodes. As in, like, I'll leave the, the world on. We can totally get ourselves a, uh, a meteorite. Which means, like, space gun, meteorite armor. Very cheap... Very cheap armor because like once you've blown up a good amount of it like you've got it for uh for life because meteorites so cheap to make right let's see here all right i know i keep using the uh the boomerang it's not as good but i do like the light effect of it so yeah so that's a musket okay i'm actually honestly i'm actually really happy with how today's gone so far oh you know what would do it like really easy the shotgun the shotgun would uh would win out without a doubt. I just need to build a few more houses, but the shotgun would easily beat the Eye of Cthulhu, right? In expert mode. Okay, so I do hear a, uh, I do hear a worm. So I'm going to go back to the surface, and we're just going to have a little look at some crafting recipes real quick. So let's sort my inventory. Quick stack away. Let's have a little look here. So we're using this mod today. So let's put in the uh, in the boomstick. So it's called the Firestorm Cannon. 13 range damage, 4% critical strike chance, 70% chance to not consume flares. Oh, so it uses flares. And you need 10 victory shards to actually make it. So we could make this now, but we'd need the victory shards. Now, the only place I know to get victory shards is in the, uh, in the underground desert where we went. And it's like a mini boss, right? But it did spawn very frequently. So, in terms of those Vic Tide little shards or whatever. <laughs> now I'm getting that wrong. The victory shards. Right, I've got five of them. I'd need five more. But then I'd also need flares. And I actually don't know if you can buy flares. I presume you buy them from a merchant. Because obviously, like, they're not, like, accessible. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm, you know what I mean? Like, you have to get them from a chest. And they're also a consumable. So, I imagine you could do it. All right, let me build... How many rooms do I need to build? I need to build... I'm probably going to get a nurse. So I'm going to do, do these on the fly. Right, so I'm probably going to get a nurse. I'm probably going to get a, uh, a gunsmith. I'm going to get a merchant because obviously we've got all the gold. Right, okay. Time for a quick speed up. Okay, so everything is built. <laughs> we should start getting some NPCs now soon. I, I only need a few, but I kind of need them, like, quick. Right, so Wilbur the Merchant. Right, Wilbur, tell me, do you sell flares? I have a feeling that he definitely does, right? But I'm going to be honest, I've never had to buy them before because I've never really used a flare gun, like, like properly. So, yeah, he does sell flares. Blue flares... <laughs> Why? Why do you sell blue flares? What's the price difference? Seven to seven? So what? It'll just make blue flares all the time? Can it... 
Oh my god, why? Why do, why do you have this? Right, where's the flare gun at? Oh, snap! Blue flares! <laughs> I don't know if that's necessarily, uh, you know, needed, but cool. Cool, dude. Right, I'm, I'm only kidding. Right, I don't want to jip on blue flares. Right, I need to, now, I need to go and, uh, and work on getting some more of those victory shots. Because I feel like it's one of the first things that was suggested, like, without a doubt. Like, I saw so many people suggest it yesterday. And I feel like because of that, and because I said I wanted to get out of my comfort zone a little bit, I feel like I've got to spend a little bit of time on doing that today. So I'm going to spend, like, 10, 15 minutes off camera, right? Which is, you know, I try not to jump cut too much. But I'll do it off camera so that we can enjoy the rest of the episode without the farming. So... I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so I actually didn't manage to uh, to find more than one of those mini bosses, and I must have done it for like a good like 10, 15 minutes. So I was like, that's kind of cool and all, but you do actually get some from the Eye of Cthulhu, and we do have an Eye of Cthulhu summoning device, and I've always kind of wanted to try Expert Eye of Cthulhu with kind of like a current setup that we've got. So I'm going to try it. Either way, if we waste this little summon device, we can always do it again tomorrow. Like, I'll just make one. But uh, I kind of want to see what it's like. So I'm going to... Oh my god, look at this. I'm just going to even this out. And see what we can do. Right, because we actually do have a boomstick. And we also have a, uh, a gunsmith who will sell us musket balls. Right, which is perfect for doing this. Right? And so, I've got Shine, Fawns, Regeneration, and Hunter. So, I'm going to take Hunter. I'm going to take Regen. And I guess that is it. <laughs> and I'll also swap to this if I need to. So, I'll take one of these as well. And then I'm going to begin. And we're going to just see what happens. Because I've, I've, I've wanted to do this for a while. I want to see what the new AI is. Like, uh, like I said, it is new because of Revengeance mode. So, it's all changed, right? It's all scary. It's all new. It feels... I don't know. I don't know if it... See, it makes movements that I'm not used to, but then I'm like, alright, is that expert mode, or is it maybe second attack? You know what I mean? Do you like, in the second form, it's a little bit different? Okay, give me that free health. Okay. Let's see. Alright, it's not doing so bad. I'm just going to use some Jester Arrows real quick. Just to kind of get rid of these eyes. So that's not new. We know about that attack. Okay, no more free health for us, by the way, though. So, kind of got to survive on this. We're a little bit slow, admittedly, right? Let's be honest. I mean, we want... Oh, meteorite. Oh, my God. Okay. All right, I don't know what the health is, but it's freaking out. Oh, my God. <laughs> we got it close, though. We got it close. Right, so we'll do that tomorrow, but I'm really happy about the meteorite because now we can just have armor. Like, so I imagine a lot of you were kind of like... James, you were trying to do that with no armor and no iron skin. We probably would have won with the iron skin, admittedly, because uh, defense is more in Calamity Mod, uh, Revengeance Mode. But I did want to try it, so nothing new there that I noticed. Did you guys notice anything new? Because, I don't know, it, I think the only thing it, it was is it seemed a little bit more aggressive in a way. Like, it seemed a little bit like in the first half, it was almost like... I don't know, it's hard to explain, but I felt like, in a way, it was kind of almost swaying a bit too much. Like, its its movement was just, like, increased in speed. Right, okay, we're, uh, this is super dark. Thank God we have shine, right? So let's go and find this meteorite, because then we have free armor, essentially. And it's decent armor meteorite. But yeah, so I imagine a lot of you were kind of like, Oh, James, why'd you do that? Why'd you waste your summon? You know what? We'll, uh, we'll we'll make one tomorrow anyway. That's that's the good thing. We can we can always have one for tomorrow. But I didn't notice anything new. We did get it close though, right? I wasn't I wasn't like completely like baffled by that. Like we did get it close. Oh my god! Worst part about walking through this part of the world. It's slow right now, and the eater of souls from the corruption biome just hunt you down. Oh god! And the zombies. The zombies are strong too. Right, I want that heart crystal. Oh, I hate these guys. They have extended reach. Alright, well, we have a boomerang. Oh my god, two of extended reach? Really? Yeah, this this, this, uh, this biome is kind of torture. I need to get out of here. Right, let's get out as fast as we can. So this is good, because I've not actually had the opportunity to pick up any stars yet or anything like that. And we're seeing a little bit more of the world. But I'm just looking for that meteorite. 
because it'd be cool to cash in on it while it's here. So let's just keep going to the left. I don't know exactly whereabouts in the world it spawns. It can spawn at the bottom of the ocean, for example. So, like, kind of predicting it is a bit hard. Okay. Or it can spawn in a floating island. Oh, there you go. Hey, I was lucky. I was, I was actually really lucky with this. Okay, we need to be quick as all bejesus here. So, I'm going to... Oh, dynamite? Yes, sir. Right, okay. Can I kill these in the one hit? No. Right, this is actually, like, stupidly dangerous. Oh. This is good. This is good. Right, okay. So. Why am I throwing glow sticks? I was meant to be throwing, um, bombs. Oh, my God. Okay, let's just throw some here. I'll try to get something to pop off. But the quicker we do this, the uh, the better it will be for our uh, for our uh, health. Because we need to destroy enough of it to stop the meteorite heads spawning in. Now, this was like the best thing back in the day. Because you used to make farms of 50 meteorite. And then you'd use that to farm everything out. Okay, got a ton of it. Oh, there's actually a, uh, a demon all down here. Cool. Oh, snap. Right, health is dropping... <laughs> Health was dropping a bit too fast, all right? But that actually, you know what? That's probably enough for a full set. There's actually... Oh, wow, there's a, a wooden chest as well. Not bad, not bad. Let's see how much we actually got there. That might actually just be enough. You can tell how uh, how unorganized I've been so far because I actually don't have guys. I actually don't have a furnace. All right, let's see. So we've got 122 pieces. That is quite a bit. So I'm going to grab some stone... Have I got enough torches here? Okay, I can't... There we go. Alright, there are some torches. Alright, let's make a furnace. So we'll smelt up a furnace, because I already have my uh, my anvil. So I'm going to put down this furnace. Let's see. Yeah, just a ton. 40 pieces. Honestly, meteorite is like the easiest thing to farm these days. Right, so... Oh my god, what's this? A meteor fist. 17 melee damage... Oh wow. <laughs> and it's like a it's like a punch, right? And then is that it? So that's what's new? Right, well, I'm gonna craft the armor because a goblin invasion is on its way. I don't know how we managed to trigger a goblin invasion considering we actually don't have uh, <laughs> we don't have any kind of like defense or anything. I always thought you had to trigger it with defense. So what I'm gonna do now is quick jump cut, guys. I'm going to go finish up getting that meteorite, and then we'll end up today's episode. But it's actually been pretty fun. Tomorrow, though, I, I will really beat that Eye of Cthulhu for real. I would have beaten it, honestly. I just went in thinking I could try it, because I wanted to try it. And do you know what? I actually feel like in Revenge mode, we did pretty well. We did well. All right, so I went and collected a bunch more. And as you can tell, our hometown is kind of in being invaded right now. So uh, tomorrow, I will uh, dispatch these guys pretty quick. I was trying to come up with something that I wanted to ask you guys for the uh, for the comment section, and I came up with two things. So you can either answer one of these, right? So Calamity Mod adds like just a ton of new bosses. Like there are a ton of bosses in Terraria when you play with Calamity, and I wanted to know out of every single boss, what is the one you're most excited to see in Revengeance Mode? So you know, Revengeance Mode makes everything just a little bit harder. What is one thing you're like absolutely excited for? I'd really love to know. So, we are going to craft up the rest of the meteorite. I think I can craft like this. Yeah, okay, awesome. Look, it's basically free armor, right? It's crazy. It's crazy. It's way too much. Right, let's see. <laughs> oh, my God. Where did we put our anvil? Did I break the anvil? Or is it out? Oh, it's outside. Oh, my God. Look at this. Nurse. Nurse. Thank you. All right, the nurse is awesome. Nurse is the real OG. Oh, but yeah, what are you most excited for? And then the second one was, so a bunch of enemies in Calamity drop like really wicked weapons. What is one enemy you think I should like kind of aim towards and for what weapon and why? I'd be really interested to know about that one. And then Meteor Fist. Let's try it out. So we, we promised to do a little bit more mana, but Meteor Fist, got to try it out, right? Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> right, okay. You. Oh, it fires out. Oh my god, that is cool. See, this is why I like melee. <laughs> I like that it has that kind of a... Uh, it has the, you know, the drop to it. Oh, that's cool. 
Oh, come on. That's awesome, right? Especially because it's a mana armor set as well. So we have our mana armor set. And we have the fist. <laughs> this thing is cool, man. This thing would have taken down the Eye Cthulhu, no problem. Or would it, right? This is cool, though. I like this. This is awesome. This is a really, really cool addition. Oh, snap. It does actually look really good. And then, of course, if we come back up here, we could always make the non-modded space gun. But is that a material? So it is a material. I can't remember what this is a material for, though. Right, so let's put this in here. Right, so it makes the magma cannon. Oh, I've got to try that. That's a magic weapon, and it uses amber. So we could use those amber crawlers for that. That's cool. And then it also comes up as a space gun. Right, let's try that. Let's try that. I'm excited for that. So we'll try that soon, okay? All right, well, that's going to do it for uh, today's episode, guys. Thank you all for watching. As always, you have made this series a complete success. I, like, absolutely love how many likes and stuff you're dropping on these videos. It's really cool. If you want to ask, uh, if you want to answer one of my questions, I really appreciate reading that in the morning. Right, so, from, uh, from me, everyone, I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great day, and peace.